Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Channel Skyrim and the Dawngarn DLC playthrough. And part two of the Chasing Echoes quest. So we've worked out how to use a moon dial, so let's crack on. So it's obviously taken us down into a secret part of the ruins. And this is where the enemies get a bit tougher and a little bit more uh, numerous. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Okay. Hit the chain. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Yeah, that shuts that door again, so we keep it open. There's lots of ingredients to grab around here, guys, so uh, make sure you grab them. Okay, here we go. Good night. Good night. Miss, damn. <laughs> Good night. Good night. That's why Serana's thrown over there. You having problems in there, Serana? Done and done. She's actually quite a decent follower, actually. The only problem is she'll pick a fight with anybody. So if you're trying to be sneaky and you go past an enemy, she'll attack it, which is a bit of a pain at times. Okay, deal with this guy. And they've usually got quite good loot. Sentinel. Those guys are tough. There are a lot of enemies in here. Okay, round we go. books I haven't got. Take that. Take that, nom nom. Ah, I thought I had that one. And I think that'll about do it. Yeah, always remember that because he'll uh, he'll backdoor you.
be brilliant if you could turn this into a player home, if they've made this, that you can convert into a player home with once you've completed the quest. It's an awesome castle. Okay. Hmm. Now, so you never... Oh, actually, before you do that, make sure you deal with this guy first. Good night. Now, so whenever you activate the chain, this guy comes alive. So activate it and get the hell out of there. Oh, another sentinel. And let's see what he's got. And the chain opens uh, the door here, leading to these stairs. Good night. Another one, little buggers at the top. Good night. Now, I know I'm making this look easy, but I've got uh, really decently enchanted stuff and very high uh, bow skills, so, uh, and all the perks in it. Uh, you can unlock this one, there's a chest inside there, I believe. So, this is actually quite tough in here, guys if you're at a slightly lower level. Good night. Where's the other one gone? Two more up here. Here they come. Come on, come on. Damn. Good night. I'm really off with the boat today, I tell you. Really off. Anyway, onwards. and cure diseases, grab those. They're invaluable at the moment if you don't want to be a vampire. Is that a human flesh or a heart? No. Okay. Cracking on. Here we are, we've got a bit of a fight here. Quick save, I would suggest. Good night. Damn, go. I'm slow. I thought there was another one. Good night. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Ah, there you are. Reach the top. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. There is, Serana. There is. And I'll show you exactly where it is after I've been looting. Uh, nothing else around here? No? Okay, just turn the candlestick there.
And this is where we want to be. Come on, Serana. Where are you, girl? Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I have no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. So we have to go through a bit of dialogue with Serana to progress this any further. That tells us where she's gone. What exactly are we My looking for? Was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Okay. Right. So her journal's just down here. Oh, there's a journal. Just, just there. Grab that. I'm going to be grabbing some little books here. Okay. So I haven't got that one. Let's have a look. Ooh. Grab that. Grab that. Nom nom. This is great for me, this is. Have that. And we've got a nommy little uh, smithing book. But I'm way over 100 on my smithing, so. Be good for you guys. And grab all the ingredients on here. Some of them are quite. You need these. That's it. Finely ground bone meal. You're going to need that. And I suggest you grab all these uh, ingredients. We'll see why at the end. Gold, nom nom. And you want them? Gold, nom nom. And common soul gem. Sold him, nom nom. Fire salts, lovely. Loads of good ingredients here, guys. Oh, come on. There you go, lovely. Okay, what else is here? Okay. Salt. Fire salts, salt pile, frost salts, nom nom. Void salts, you want. And you want the purified for your void salts, that's what you definitely need. Okay, so once you've got all those. Oh, yeah, I forgot down here. Anything else? No. Oh, Daedric Heart, lovely. Oh, very lovely. Okay, I think uh, finally we do this lot.
Yeah, lovely. Loads, loads of good ingredients. Anyway, we're going to speak to uh, Serana. No, that's all done there. Any luck yet? I found your mother's notes. You Let me see them. What's this soul can that she mentions? She, me. she had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul can. Why does she care where used souls went? Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. If she That's made it there, we'll find her. It's definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. What do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. You share her blood? Not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. I already okay. found all the okay. ingredients. Let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. And we just run up the stairs here. Oh, before I forget, I uh, want to discover the balcony out here. Now, this acts as a fast travel point, so you can come back here at any time. So this is your uh, bailout point. Uh, if you want to go and uh, I don't know, craft something or sell some stuff or unburden yourself, uh, you can. Okay, you can fast travel uh, away from here. Okay, and then come directly back. Okay, and in fact in the future you can come uh, back directly to the balcony. So make sure you discover that. Very important. Okay, let's go back in. Okay, we can go and get the business done now. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Okay, put it all in there. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm ready. Here goes. Okay, quickly run down there, and you start to fry up. So I pop back to speak to Serena. It was, what happened? I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul can is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in then? aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trump you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Those are my only I'm options. Sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes okay, so you got a choice now. If you didn't become a vampire at the beginning, you can become a vampire now. Or you can become partially soul trapped. Now, the thing about becoming partially soul trapped will make you weaker, and your stamina and health will, will regenerate much, much slower once you're in the soul can. Soul can, sorry. So, soul trap me. Sure. I won't feel right I'm as a vampire. To do it, but 
You guys can do what you want there. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened by the circle. I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I never do anything that could hurt you. I trust you completely. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. There you go, I've been partially soul trapped. You don't see the active effects of this until you actually into the uh, soul can itself. Uh, anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, next time I see you, we'll be in the soul can itself. See you later guys. Laters. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.